Fans, players and organisers still very much had one eye on the weather on day four at the Aegon Championships where Andy Murray was back on court in second round action. The top seed already knew the identity of his potential quarter-final opponent after fellow Brit Kyle Edmund moved into the last eight when his opponent, Paul Henri Matcher, withdrew from the event early on Thursday with a wrist injury. It would be all eyes on Murray then, provided the rain stayed away. Murray's task once he got on court was to get past the second highest Briton in the Emirates ATP rankings, Aliash Bedene. In their first meeting, it wasn't long before Bedene was given a taste of Murray's abilities on a grass court. Good anticipation. You don't hit these hands hard enough or accurate enough. Murray's just so good anticipating. Bedene did a good job of staying with Murray during the opening seven games before the world number two struck to break for 5-3 and then quickly served it out. Murray wrapping up the opening set, six games to three. The two men swap breaks during the first four games of the second, and this time it was Bedene who showcased his all-court game. Oh, wow. It wasn't long, though, before Murray was applying the pressure once more. Yay, Murray. And that break of serve was enough for the top seed to advance. The cream of British tennis on display at Queen's at the Aegon Championships this afternoon, but it's the world number two who progresses. Afterwards, Murray said he'll need to be on his guard when he takes on Kyle Edmund on Friday. Kyle's a big, strong guy. You know, he's obviously young, but, you know, he, he hits the ball big, serving better. Um, you know, he goes for it from the back of the court. Then you know I'll need to need to be ready because you know he's going to be pretty motivated to play on the centre court in front of a full crowd. The second match of the day saw third seed Milos Raonic take on lucky loser Yuri Vesely for a place in the last eight. Both were serving well, and after 11 games, it looked like the set was heading for a tiebreak. Raonic, however, had other ideas. Yatti on their feet after this point. I'll be very happy with that backhand dig. Love 30. The Canadian took the first set 7-5 and the second was just as tight. <laughs> Raonic settled it when he took the second set tiebreak, eight points to six. <laughs> Made it. A hard fought battle that. But Raonic able to get it done. Elsewhere, Luxembourg's Gilles Muller came through an extraordinary match with John Esner on court one, 3-6, 7-6, 7-6. The big left-hander saved 10 match points in total, six in the second set and another four in the decider. Muller's opponents in the last eight will be Bernard Tomic after the unseeded Australian battle past Spaniard Fernando Vadasco in three tight sets, 6-7, 6-4, 6-4. Back on centre in the final match of the day, another Spaniard, Roberto Batista Agut, went up against American qualifier Donald Young. The Spaniard found himself up a break, but the American was doing everything in his powers to stay in touch. Young moving around the court like lightning. Bautista Agut maintained his advantage long enough to put the set to bed. Yeah, he's got it. Now, will that be the end of play for the moment? We'll wait and see. It's certainly the end of the first set. Six game to four. It was indeed the end of play for the day after a huge thunderstorm meant any more tennis was impossible on Thursday evening. And the two men will be back early on Friday alongside four quarterfinals on the Aegon Championships order of play.